Hi peeps, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Maybe not that. My peeps. My peeps. <laughs> Dude, can you tell I'm tired? What time is it? Like 3? 3.15 a.m. Okay. And I have a full face of makeup. And where am I, where am I going? A dormir. Hi guys, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, we are still going strong with the fall vibe looks. So I actually created this look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1 palette that I was so excited to use. Um, this is actually my first time using it, so... I really loved it. The colors are beautiful. Um, so these are the colors that I used. I mainly focus on the mustardy colors, as you can tell. Um, so if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Stay tuned. And my hair got stuck. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with the face. Um, we're going to go ahead and start by priming. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless putty primer not not potty <laughs> but putty primer um i'm gonna go ahead and just you know apply this to the face next we are gonna go ahead and use um apply foundation i'm gonna use the mac studio fix foundation in spf 15 so it's this one, and I'm gonna use the um, Jaclyn Hill um, and Morphe 03 brush to apply this. Okay, so I'm just buffing this all over the skin. Wow, this brush is actually really soft. How many of you guys have the set? I actually, um, I got this when I went to Vegas with my boyfriend. I think when it came out, when they opened the Morphe, um, store in vegas i was like really excited it was like really nice and this is where i got my set which i love i'm always so like you know paranoid about my neck <laughs> okay yeah i feel like with this foundation you can actually see a lot of your skin um, so we might need to build it up a little bit I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty much wasting the whole bottle. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move to concealer. I'm going to use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And this one is in color medium 33N. Okay, and then I'm just applying this under my eyes, pretty much like, like you guys have seen in my other videos. My other videos, I only have two. <laughs> okay. But you know what? This is the third one, so we're moving up in the world, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so, and then for this one, I'm actually going to use a different brush, so let's see, a different brush, hold on, uh, okay, so this one I'm using the Sigma Taper Kabuki F86, and I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend this out. Now we're going to go ahead and just set the face and I'm using the Fit Me uh, Loose Finish Powder from Maybelline and I'm using this one in the color Light Medium, number 20. So this is the first time I'm using this so I'm actually going to see how it goes. I'm excited. I've heard really good things about it. And I am using the Morphe E1 brush. My sister gave me this one. I really like it because it's really like fluffy. All right, and then for my under eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC um, Loose Powder, Blot Powder. So I'm going to use this one to set my under eyes. Okay. Some more. I 
aquí nos vamos a quedar todo el día trying to get the powder out. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move to bronzing. I'm using the Bahama Mama The Balm Bronzer. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and just bronze my face. And then for this one, I'm just using an angle brush. I don't know where I got this. This is an old one because the little hairs are falling off, but any brush will do. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just touch the <coughs> temples and my forehead, you know, just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do a chin porque mi papada it's real. <laughs> Man, I feel like the crowd is tough. <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and move on to highlight. I'm using the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit uh, Loose Highlight. Um, funny story, I actually bought this yesterday. And I messaged my sister, right? It's Monday, right? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was Monday at like around 11, 12 o'clock. And I'm like, hey, like I got, um, you know, I got the Wet n Wild Loose Highlight Powder. And so, like, and so lit, right? And then she was like, and she texted me like this morning saying, dude, I thought you said you got lit. I'm like, really? Monday, <laughs> like Monday night at like 12 a.m.? No. Go ahead and use uh, the Sigma brush, the Taper Highlighter brush F35, and I'm gonna go ahead and um and see what this highlight is all about. I've heard really good things about it, so let me see. I should probably go light. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, now I know why. I'm gonna start looking like a glazed donut. <laughs> me pase. <laughs> but this is really pretty. It's like super nice. So now we are going to go ahead and move to the brows. I'm going to use the Cabral from Benefits. Um, I really like this one. I'm just going to quickly, you know, just follow the natural line of my eyebrow. And I'm just going to fill them in. Nothing too crazy. So now we're gonna go ahead and move to the eyes. Our uh, first color that I'm gonna go ahead and get is I'm gonna get D1, and I'm gonna use this color um, and put it all over the crease. And I'm using the Taper Blending Brush from Sigma uh, E40. And then this is the first time that I'm actually using this palette. So let's see how the colors are. Hmm, it's pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to um, use the color E3, which is um, another mustard color, but it's like a little bit like warmer. And then this one, I'm actually applying it to the crease um, below D1. So I'm focusing this more like on the crease. What I'm gonna go ahead and do, I am actually gonna cut the crease a little bit just because I don't want color like on my lid. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, just take any concealer. I'm gonna do it with the same one that I used. Okay, and then I'm just going like halfway with the um, concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna use from the same palette um, the color A4 and I'm gonna go ahead and just um, apply that with my finger. Just in the inner corner. Oh, this is pretty. I want the outer corner to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna use like another one of the same brushes that I use. Pretty much kind of like the same. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the color C5 from the Norvina palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the outer crease. Okay. 
and I'm just with no product I'm just gonna try, uh, blend it Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move to the eyelashes and I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara and I'm uh, using the L'Oreal Paris Luminous Lash Paradise and I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, coat my lashes. Okay, so I just popped some lashes, you know, any lashes would do. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the lower lash. And I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it out just because I love a smoky um, lower lash. And I'm gonna go ahead and start again with E3, which is the second shade that we put. And I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, just buff it on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna move to a different brush. I'm using Jaclyn Hill and Morphe the um, 43 brush, which is this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the same color, which is the last one that we put at the outer corner, and that's gonna be C5. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tie line. For the inner corner, I am going to go ahead and use C2, which is a gold shimmery color. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the inner corner. Wow, this is really pigmented. It's really pretty. Okay. All right. And then lastly, the last thing we're going to go ahead and do is just put mascara um, at the lower lashes. Lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, outline my lips with the um, Libby ColourPop pencil, and I'm using the BFF color pencil. And then I'm gonna top that off with the um, with the lip gloss, and this is a ColourPop Kathleen um, Ultra Glossy Lip in Moon Child. So I'm barely gonna tap this. Okay, and then I almost forgot. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone, and I'm gonna use actually the same highlighter that I used for my. Um, my cheeks but i'm gonna use just a tiny tiny bit so i'm gonna go ahead and just set my face and i'm gonna use the color pop all star face setting spray and i'm gonna go ahead and just you know lock in my makeup Alright, well this completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just, you know, hit the little button down below. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!